Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my weekly wows. These are products that have stood out to me that I have been using pretty much consistently and wanted to share with you. So I have a little bit of makeup, a couple of, well, actually only one beauty tool, and then a show that I've been watching on Netflix. So if you're interested in knowing what my weekly wows are, then just hang tight. Okay, the first product I want to talk to you about is an eyeliner that was sent to me through Autley, and this is from the brand Anna Sue. Anna Sue, I think is how you say that. Um, I will have a link in the description box of all of the products that I talk about. Um, but like I said, this was sent to me for review. When I applied to get this, I just you know, said I would like to try it and to review it. Did not indicate that it was going to be in a weekly favors or a weekly wow. Um, I didn't know. I hadn't tried it yet, so I didn't know if it was going to be good or bad, but I really like this little eyeliner, and there's a reason why I like it so well. Uh, let's see, what is this called specifically? Let me get some of my other little glasses out here. Smooth Eyeliner um, Eyeliner Pen. Smooth Eyeliner WP. What does WP mean? Smooth Eyeliner. Anyway, it's a um, oh, waterproof. That's right, it's waterproof. And it's in the color black. But anyway, what I have been using this for and what I really like it for is to do um, my tight line right in here. Because I swear this has to be the smallest tip of an eyeliner that I have ever seen or used myself. And I don't, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But I mean, it is so small that it is perfect for the waterline, for the tight line up here, perfect. It stays all day. I don't have any problems with it irritating the eyes. I like it because it's so thin. I can really get up in there into the lashes and really do a really good tight line. And I really like this. I do. I like it. Um, I was surprised, pleasantly surprised that I liked it so much for that reason. Now, if you have... Um, really hooded lids or uh, maybe really small eyelids, you might really like this for an eyeliner on top of the lid because it would create a very thin, precise line. So it would be good for that. I haven't used it for that because I have been using it in the waterline and I really like it for that. Okay, keeping on the same aspect of eyeliners, I have these eyeliners that I want to talk about. These I purchased myself. These came from Sephora. Um, I had purchased one or two in a Sephora haul, and then I forgot to show them, so I didn't actually, they haven't been shown in a Sephora haul at all. Okay, I was talking about these eyeliners before my camera so rudely cut me off. My battery died. I had ordered, I have a Canon camera, and I ordered some off-brand batteries because I was trying to be cheap. But they do not hold a charge worth anything and so and dummy me I, I forget to look on my battery monitor and anyway so I got cut off anyway so I was talking about these these are the Sephora brand eyeliners they're waterproof the majority of these I did get on clearance so they're probably not there anymore the colors that I specifically have but they're $10. The ones that were in clearance were $7. So they're very much worth the $10. Um, the BIB sale, I'm pretty sure, is coming up here pretty soon. I just watched a video this morning of someone that had um, a coupon code from the, for the friends and family. VIP, or the friends and family sale. So anyway, if you have a coupon code, then you can use them now. But anyway, I really like these. They're very smooth. They are waterproof. They are a um, type of pencil that you sharpen. And I'm trying to see what the color of this one is that I have on as my eyeliner. Not the tight line that I just showed you, but this is on the lid as my liner. What color is this? It's a really pretty green. I hate it when I can't see. Go for a ride. This is the color Go For A Ride, and I can't remember if this is one that was a regular one or if it was a clearance one. 
If it's a clearance one and you can't get it anymore, I am so sorry. But I'm mainly talking about the formula and the pencils in general, but just how well they go on. I mean, they just glide on so easy. It's almost like you're using a liquid liner, but it's not. It's a gel pencil. Um, you have to sharpen them. They're not self-sharpening. So I have that one. And then this color here, I'm pretty sure is the regular line. This is um, Sangria. It's a really pretty purpley color. I got this one specifically to wear with the Urban Decay uh, Nika Cherry palette. And it goes beautifully with that palette. I know um, Urban Decay came out with a liner that goes with the Naked Cherry, but I think this one does just as well. And it's $10 versus $17. So that's a really pretty color. And this color here, oh, I don't know. Should I, should be, I don't know if I should be even swatching all of these because this is Surfer Babe. I'm pretty sure this was a clearance one. surfer babe I did I got quite a few of them because once I got the first two that I had ordered I was like I want some more this one is diving in Malaysia I'm pretty sure that was a clearance one too that's a really pretty um, olive green color but you might be able to find these in your local store this is Summer Cruise. And that one is Summer Cruise. Look at that. That's going to be so pretty for spring and winter. Spring and summer, I mean. Not spring and winter. Speaking of winter, we finally have some fall weather in Oklahoma. Yay! I think today, the high today was 42 degrees. So, definitely had to have a jacket this morning. Um, this one is Tiramisu, and Tiramisu, I think, is a um, regular one, so you should be able to get Tiramisu. And that's that color right there. Just a really pretty purpley-brown color. Anyway, I mean, these are really good. I like these. I want to get a really light-colored one to, to do in my waterline and see if it will stay. I usually don't have any luck with anything staying in the waterline below here that's a lighter color. But yeah, so there's all those. So if you haven't checked out the Sephora eyeliners, the Sephora brand eyeliners, I would do that. I'm probably going to get some more colors when the VIB cell comes up. So, okay. So sticking with Sephora and Sephora brand, I want to talk about this little guy here. This is a fan brush. It's the Sephora brand fan brush. It's the Pro Fan Highlight Brush number 62. It's like $24. This little guy right here is perfect for highlighting. If you just want to get a really precise area of highlight on your cheeks, like you don't want a whole bunch of highlight, you just really want to be precise with your highlight. Going up here, going down here, or going up in here, you're going to want to get this brush. I'm going to get another one, I think, during the sale because it is that good. So, let's do a little demo. I have this new highlighter here from um, Hard Candy. And this is the da -da -da -da, gold, the 24 karat gold highlighter. So, let's put some um, highlighting goodness. We're going to do this white color here. That way I can just kind of show you. Let's see, make sure I can, but look, I mean it's just so easy and it just blends in so nicely. Any kind of highlighter that you're using, it just really works to blending it in and it doesn't disturb the foundation and the powder that you've put on underneath. It's just really good. And I really like this highlighter too, by the way. I got it at Walmart at $6. Six dollars. It's pretty, pretty cheap for a highlight. I mainly got it for the white color, but I can use these two colors right here on the lid. Anyway, really, really pretty. I mean, look. I just want to keep putting more and more on. But look how pretty. I'm talking about the highlighter. The brush is what I'm talking about. Anyway, this is good though. <laughs> yeah. So. Check this out. Check this little fan brush out. This is just 
perfect. Most of the time with fan brushes, they're like huge, and I don't want I don't want that much. So this was this is good. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, another product. Um, now this product, this particular configuration, you can't get anymore. But what's in here, you can. And this is the Hourglass Ambient um, Blushes. Specifically this one here, which is Mood Exposure. Um, I've been pulling this one out and using this color quite a bit now that the weather is starting to get cooler and I'm starting to do a little bit more fallish vibe, eyeshadow looks. Um, this is just perfect. Um, this one, which is Mood Exposure and then Luminous Flush. Nope. Luminous Flush, which is right here on this end. You can actually get these in a mini size or you can get them in full size. All three of these you can get individually in full size. But I just happen to have them in this little palette here. I don't even know when this came out. But anyway, these are just so pretty. Especially this one, the Mood Exposure. It's just a really pretty soft plum um, with the Mood Light incandescent powders that are a kind of... Um, not the incandescent, just the mood. <sighs> Slow down, Jay. Slow down. They're infused with the mood light powder. The mood exposure is the coral peach, which is this middle one, has the incandescent strobe light um, infused in it. And then the champagne rose, which is this one here, has the luminous light powder infused into it and you can buy those individually powders by themselves the mood light the luminous light and the incandescent incandescent strobe light but they just happen to be mixed in with these blush formulation they've been around for a while you guys know you guys know but it's just really a very nice subtle very easy to wear highlighting just really goodness blush. I like the mood exposure because it just goes with so much. It's very pretty on the cheeks. Blends in like a dream. Um, you can build it up if you wanted to. Last all day and it just kind of helps just create kind of like a lit from within look. Very pretty. Very um Oh, what's the word I want to say? Very flattering on mature skin is what I want to say. That's the one I've been pulling out a lot is the mood exposure. And then the other one that I've been using a lot is this one here, which is the Luminous Flush. And this is a, a Champagne Rose. And it's really pretty too. Right there. Uh, they're all pretty. But anyway, I think mood exposure though is just a really pretty blush to pull out for fall and winter is going to go with so many looks for this time of year and you can't go wrong with the formula. Okay, the last beauty product I'm going to show you is again some that I didn't haul yet. I probably won't because I don't have too much Sephora stuff. Anyway, we all know that Sephora kind of changed their point system and their point perks and one of the things that they did was that you can at specific times off of the rewards bazaar you can cash in your points for a gift card uh, it's not actually a gift card it's a code that you use and um, that way you can use it to purchase anything you want off of the Sephora website so I had enough points banked up from years and years and years of really not using a whole lot of points because there really wasn't that really good of a stuff for to use points at Sephora. Anyway, I had enough to get two different um, gift cards with a little... Anyway, I bought some stuff. <laughs> and I, I guess I'm just trying to justify the price of these two items that I bought because um, I used those two gift cards that I had. It was two different orders. Plus, I had to put some, some money to boot to get each one of these. But I think they are well worth 
the price and a lot of people disagree with that and that's fine everybody is entitled to their own opinion but after getting these and using them I want all of all of the palettes now and I'm talking about Natasha Nona. yes um, specifically the Safari palette is the one I want to really really focus in on but I do have the gold it is stunning both of these and I know everybody looks at it and like, well, we you, we have those colors, and I'm sure I do too. I probably have these colors in different palettes, different eyeshadows, whatever. But I just, I don't know, there's just something about them. They're just so effortlessly, they're so easy to use. I created the eye look that I have on today using this color here in the crease, which is called, um, I don't know. And then this color here, Tribe, in the outer edge. And then I also use the color, what color is that? Thorn, this color here, in the outer edge also. Beautiful. I mean, I have created looks with every single color in this palette. And it's so pretty. So pretty. And the, the main reason why I really, really wanted this palette is for this color here, this olive green, which is beautiful. Love it. This gray right here, I thought that was probably one of the prettiest grays that I have seen in a long time. That's an actual gray, more gray than it is blue. And then I wanted this gray here, and then this teal blue. Those colors right there sold this palette to me pretty much so those are some swatches let me get my sleeve out of the way i mean they are just so pretty so pretty blend out so nice they stay all day i don't have any problems with the fallout with transferring with fading i like it i'm glad that i got it i'm glad i cashed in all of my points to get the two gift cards to get these two palettes. And then the next one, I might as well talk about this one, is the gold palette. And again, just really, really pretty. I have this color here, right here. You can see where I'm pointing. I have this color right here on the lid. That's what the shininess that you're seeing, that's what that is. It's that color right there. Beautiful absolutely beautiful and I dug my finger in that one I mean <gasps> so pretty this one here has a little bit more glitter in it than I wished it had but it's still very very pretty so that is what I spent my points on after years and years and years of holding on to my points hoping to get something good <laughs> with my points. Um, I always try to get those, those special rewards that they came out with, you know, once a year where they, everybody went crazy over and they'd only have like one or two and nobody could get them and everybody got mad about it. I always try to get those, but I never did. I never was able to get those. Anyway, so I'm glad Sephora did that, that you're able to cash in your points to get a gift card. Um, it's not always on the Rewards Bazaar, though. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays is when they drop new ones, and I think that's when they will put that on the Rewards Bazaar page. And then once however many they say people can get is gone, then you can't get it again until they put drop it again, which... To me, it makes no sense, whatever. What? I don't understand why they're doing it that way, why they're only letting so many people at one time get the gift card. It's not like Ulta where if you got points, you can use them any time that you want. It doesn't matter if it's midnight, if it's 1 o'clock in the morning, if it's on Sunday even. If you want to use your points and cash in your points at Ulta, you can do it by golly, you don't gotta wait. That's why I like Ulta. That's why I've been having so many Ulta hauls. Oh my stars. Alright. 
one more favorite, and this is something that I've been watching on Netflix. Actually, I finished it, and I really, really, really did enjoy this show. Anyway, if you have watched Orange is the New Black, which probably everybody knows about Orange is the New Black, and if you watch that, this show is like Orange is the New Black, but it's more on the darker side. It's more about the violence and a little bit more action. It's just more dark and more evil and sinister than what Orange is the New Black is. I mean, Orange is the New Black here and there has had some villains, but Wentworth, that's the show I'm talking about, Wentworth takes the level of villain from here to here. Almost stars. You have got to watch it. And the villain, the villainess, <laughs> doesn't really show up until season two. And I think she is there up until season five. Oh my stars, this lady that plays this character, the character's name is Joan Ferguson, and the person, the lady that plays her is Pamela Rabe, Rabbi, R-A-B-E. I don't know. She does an outstanding job of playing this person, this villain. Um, Wentworth is a women's prison. It does take place in Australia. It is an Australian-based TV show, so all of the actresses and actors in it, you know, are from Australia. They all speak with the Aussie accent, which is really cool. And um, it's six seasons so far. The warden in this show is referred to, they call him the governor. Um, season 2 is when Joan Ferguson becomes the governor of Wentworth Prison, and she is just evil to the core, I'm telling you. But it's good. It's a good, good show. Um, it, you know, touches on more, whereas Orange is the New Black is more on the, I don't know, maybe the social aspect of the prison life, which I know is not anywhere near what real prison would be like, but anyway, but Wentworth, like I said, it really um, delves into the, the, the violence and the darkness and the evilness of being in a prison, you know, full of women, and it's really good. They have what they call a top dog. This is the person that... Um, wins the spot of being in total control of all the women. Um, it's good. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you about it other than when you see Wentworth, it's W-E-N-T-W-O-R-T-H. If it pops up on your news or on your feed for Netflix or go in and search it out, I really think you would enjoy it. It's very good, especially when she start getting into season two. You will really like it and. It's almost to the point where this person is evil. And you're, you're almost to the point where you're like, okay, somebody needs to hurry up and kill this person off. Oh my God, they need to, she needs to be killed and be got out of there. And then when she's not on there anymore, that character's not on there anymore, you're just like, oh man, she needs to come back. <laughs> Yeah, you kind of you miss the evilness of it. But anyway, it's good. I recommend it. Anyway, so that is it for this week's Weekly Wows. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll be talking to you soon.